Recently, Stranger Things director and executive producer Sean Levy reacted to the show ending with season 5. Ever since we were introduced to the residents of Hawkins, Stranger Things has been a phenomenon and is one of Netflix's best-known original properties. Let's check out more about the Stranger Things director on why the show is ending with season 5. Number 7. The Right Timing Stranger Things Season 5 will be the Netflix phenomenon's very last outing, and executive producer Sean Levy has now detailed why. Ahead of Season 4's initial rollout this May, the multifaceted director told a popular entertainment website, Well, we never wanted to run on fumes, and we wanted to tell as much story as the Duffer Brothers saw and feel with clarity. So it's been clear for a while that they know exactly where we're headed and this is the arc. We wouldn't want to stick around for one moment beyond that vision and the clarity of that voice. So rather than focusing on that sad day that happens who knows when at the end of season 5, I'll just once again reaffirm what I've told everyone, which is it has been a long ass wait for season 4. But I swear to God, the world will realize it's worth it, he explained. Going out while you're on top is always the way to go. Just look at the legacies of both Breaking Bad and The Sopranos thanks to that approach. Netflix previously had announced that a supersized fourth series of Stranger Things will arrive in two volumes later this year. The show will make its highly anticipated return to screens on May 27th before the second batch of episodes arrives on July 1st. Number 6. Touching Down Soon it's been nearly three years since we've enjoyed a new episode of Stranger Things, and the subsequent withdrawal has been nothing short of painful. But the show's creators, Matt and Ross Duffer, have repeatedly promised that we needn't wait forever. Season 4 is coming this summer. Minor hints about the forthcoming series have steadily dropped since the show resumed filming amid the coronavirus pandemic. While the plot for the new episodes have been kept pretty under wraps so far, an official synopsis has now been released. It read, It's been six months since the Battle of Star Court, which brought terror and destruction to Hawkins. Like the second season, Stranger Things Season 4 will be nine episodes long. The authenticity and uniqueness of Stranger Things will have fans and audiences re-watching the series for years to come. Knowing that the end is on the horizon may be sad for some die-hard fans. However, it is ultimately the best option for the show's integrity and the long term. Too many shows take their scripts and storylines well beyond what would otherwise cast them directly into legend status. So with the storyline and arc already determined, it's probably best to say goodbye to Stranger Things on the highest note possible rather than sinking the ship entirely. Number 5. The Plot The most recent Stranger Things 4 trailer dropped around six weeks before the season's expected launch. The trailer began with an ominous message about suffering before Max Mayfield reads out loud a letter that she had written to her deceased brother Billy. Ever since you left, she read, it's been a total disaster. For a while, we tried to be happy, normal, but it's impossible. Fans were then given a glimpse of some eerie scenes, a ticking grandfather clock, a look at the Russian prison where Hopper was seen locked up, and Joyce Byers receiving a mysterious package. A powerless Eleven was also told, without you, we can't win this war, and plenty of dramatic supernatural scenes, including creatures from the Upside Down, followed. Now, on the other hand, it was revealed that the main villain of this season, as seen in the trailer, is called Vecna, after the Dungeons & Dragons character of the same name. Interestingly, the biggest mystery in Hawkins surrounds Jim Hopper's status. Of course, we already know the American will be back, but Eleven and the gang do not. How they will deal with this inevitable return remains to be seen. It is strongly believed that Season 4 of Stranger Things will feature a big, huge reveal about Hopper's backstory. Specifically, it has to do with one of the marked boxes Eleven finds in Hopper's stash midway through the second season. Number 4. Cast All of the main cast members are set to return, including Brown, Harbour, Matarazzo, Kiri, Dyer, Sink, McLaughlin, Hawk, Wolfhard, Winona Ryder, Noah Schnapp, and more. But several new actors are joining the already extensive lineup this season. It was reported that Jamie Campbell Bower will be a series regular in the role of Peter Ballard, a caring man who works as an orderly at a psychiatric hospital. 
Other incoming series regulars will include Eduardo Franco as Jonathan Stoner pal Argyle and Joseph Quinn as metalhead Eddie Munson, who runs the Hellfire Club. Robert England, who played Freddy Krueger in A Nightmare on Elm Street, will also join the show as a recurring character, Victor Creel. His character is reportedly institutionalized in a psychiatric hospital. Joining England are Tom Washia and Sherman Augustus as Russian prison guard Dmitri and sophisticated Lieutenant Colonel Sullivan. Number 3. Mind Flayer's Victims Stranger Things Season 3 never offered a proper explanation for how the deaths of the Mind Flayer's many victims were covered up, and this is something that Season 4 needs to address. Throughout Season 3, dozens of prominent locals, including the entire staff of the Hawkins Post, were body snatched by the Mind Flayer and became mindless zombie-like slaves to the monster. Eventually, their bodies were all absorbed into the giant monstrosity by the season's end, only for heroine Eleven and reformed villain Billy to kill the beast in the episode's last scenes. But what cover story were their families, friends, and the community at large given for the sudden disappearance of dozens? Stranger Things Season 4 needs to explain how their demise was hidden, if at all, and what impact the incident had on the small town in the time since. Number 2. Are There Answers to Eleven's Past? In a recent interview, Millie Bobby Brown revealed that Stranger Things Season 4 will provide answers regarding Eleven's past and offer more insight into her background. Eleven has been a fascinating character from the start, quickly becoming a cultural icon and making a star of Brown. Fans have rallied behind the character ever since, who has won them over with her awkward charm and powerful resilience. Peeling back the layers on who Eleven is and why she exhibits the power she has is one of the most compelling aspects of the show, and a thread that gets tugged ever so slightly from season to season. While Brown couldn't reveal specifics, she did say that fans will get answers to the many questions that have surrounded Eleven since Stranger Things Season 1. She also suggested a deep dive into the character's background would be on the cards, which the actress was excited about as it would mean she could further explore her character. Number 1. Gearing up for a spinoff? Last year during the Code Conference in Los Angeles, Netflix CEO Ted Sarandos teased that a Stranger Things spinoff might be on the cards. Franchises are good, but what you want are hits, Sarandos said, noting that the hit Netflix series was a franchise being born. Of course, the streaming platform head might have been referring to a range of Stranger Things-inspired successes, but his comments certainly made fans sit up. And now writers and brothers Matt and Ross Duffer revealed they anticipated the show would culminate after its fifth season while writing season two. Having read into the announcement with frenzied speculation, fans are now expecting a spin-off of sorts. As the brothers confessed, ending the series at season five felt premature and still had a lot more gas left in the tank. The Duffer brothers also teased it was the right decision to leave fans wanting more, but they aren't detailing any plans just yet. We haven't told anyone our plans, not even Netflix. Matt told a popular entertainment magazine, We have some ideas. In terms of if we are to do any sort of spin-off or any continuation of Stranger Things, for us, the bar was always, is the idea exciting enough that we feel the pull of wanting to do it again? Matt further explained the condition for a spin-off. I want to feel the pull of, God, I really want to do this. I feel really, really excited about this. So that's why we're being careful about what that is and whether we move forward with it or not. Now only time will tell what lies ahead for fans of Stranger Things. So what do you think? What are your thoughts about Stranger Things ending with Season 5? Let us know in the comments below. We hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as we enjoyed bringing it to you. See you next time. Goodbye.